Okay, here's the tutorial on what will happen if you disable the page file on your computer. So here's the file explorer window, let's disable the page file. Right click this PC and go to properties. After properties let's go to advanced system settings. After advanced system settings go to the first settings button here. Then advanced. And currently we have total paging file size for all drives 1.5 gigabytes, 1500 megabytes. Let's click on the change button. Automatically manage paging file size is selected, so uncheck it. Here we can see that the page file is set to drive D and is managed by Windows itself. So let's set it to no paging file and click set. Now there is no page file on any of the drives. So that means that we just disable the page file. Close these windows with OK. And restart the computer. Restart. OK, now that windows was restarted. Let's uh, open a program, for example Vegas Pro, I'm going to use this one. Go to Options and Preferences. And here on the Video tab, I set the memory. Dynamic RAM Preview, I set it to the maximum value. I have 8GB of memory on this computer and out of 8GB it will use 7.1GB. Ok, now let's import the video here into Vegas Pro like so and I will select all the file and press shift plus B that will make a dynamic RAM preview and if I open the task manager <laughs> Vegas Pro has already stopped working the memory didn't reach the maximum level and Vegas Pro already malfunctioned Vegas Pro has stopped working Ok, don't send it. So let's open Vegas Pro again. Let's repeat the same thing. Bring in one video. Select all and this time I'm going to put the test manager here on top of all win other windows. Always on top is checked. Go back here to memory. Ok, and we can preview what will happen with the memory here. So Shift plus B in Vegas Pro. The memory consumption increases. <laughs> the display driver is not working. The cursor is not working. The cursor is not working anymore. Let's see the keyboard. The numlock key. The LED is still turning on and off. So the computer is not totally frozen. But let's try Ctrl Alt and Delete. Ctrl Alt and Delete is not working. So it's not a good idea to disable the page file on the computer, even if you have enough memory. Because if suddenly something uses all your memory on your computer, then it will crash, it will not work anymore. Ok, now I have to press the reset button, because nothing is working. Ctrl Alt and Delete is not working. Alt plus Tab, not working. The Windows button not working and the cursor of the mouse is not moving. Ok, so try not to disable your page file even if you have enough memory. Ok, the computer was resetted and now let's, let's enable the page file. So open a file explorer window, right click this PC and go to properties, advanced system settings, the settings button, the first one, advanced tab, and currently total paging file size for all drives 0 megabytes. So it's using only the random access memory and it has no backup on the hard drive also. Memory backup in that sense. Ok, so let's click on the change button and either check automatically manage paging file size or if you want you can set it manually on any of the drives. Let's try that one. I'm going to set it to partition D because that's a fast SSD drive 
and I will set the minimum value to 200 megabytes and the maximum value to 10,000 megabytes which is 10 gigabytes and click on set and OK. Now the page file size is 200 megabyte. If Windows needs even more, then it can expand it to 10,000 megabytes instead of 200. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye bye.